next to you Is a day I'm grateful for Because the sun the storm Oh, I am Start today and build our work together. The way we love is the way we will stay. And I know, yes, I know, I will last a stormy weather. Just as long, just as long as yes, I got you. So, ladies and gentlemen. That was the JBL 4429 speakers. Now, you know, you know what I feel about JBLs. I love freaking JBLs. Um, all the old JBLs, JBL 300 I owned for the longest time. I absolutely love JBLs. And they have this gut to the sound that no other speakers really have. It has this, this soul to the sound. When you play rock, when you play um, any type of music, you, you have that excitement going on. And these are no exception. My initial impressions are very, very positive with these speakers. The JBL4429, ladies and gentlemen. Um, of course, it's sitting on the brick right now because I don't have a stand for it. I just wanted to get this initial impression out. Um, now, usually when JBLs have a blue face like this one, that's a good sign. Um, <laughs> Because back in the day, blue face meant good things. You know, blue face meant the pro ones, you know, the good ones. Um, and, you know, even until this day, the blue face uh, monitors are the ones that's selling for big, big dollars. And so when I saw the blue face, I thought, hey, that's a good sign. That's a good start. And certainly there were stuff that I just didn't expect. For example, um, this speaker, despite being horn loaded, doesn't sound all that horny. Um... As weird as that may sound, it doesn't sound all that horny. And first getting into this, I, you know, expected this to sound horny, but it doesn't sound all that horny. So that's one thing that, you know, kind of left my expectation. Um, I fully expected this to be, you know, being a horn and design to sound a little bit, you know, tilted up in the high end, a little bit sparkly, you know, more excitement and energy on the top end. But Unlike, like, for example, there's the Klipsch 8000F right there uh, in the kitchen that I don't want you to see. And that Klipsch 8000F has this, you know, um, let me show you, has this horn. And it sounds horny. Has that, uh, you know, excitement in the top end. It has that, you know, great extension in the high frequency and excitement. Now, first, when I hooked these up, I was a little bit disappointed to find out that despite being a horn design, it didn't sound all that, again, horny or have that energy in the top end. But guess what? If you really want, there is a dial here to increase and decrease the high frequency. Um, I believe it's like 6 dB or something like that. Don't quote me on it. I just hooked these up just now. Um, I have them at 0 dB. So you have the high frequency, um, like, like really ultra high frequency, which is right here. And then there is the uh, high frequency. So you can't adjust the bass, but you can adjust the ultra high frequency and high frequency, I think. Um, and so that is pretty much it in terms of uh, the speaker itself is very, very sturdy, very, very heavy. And they are <laughs> no bookshelf speaker for sure. Um, and and I'm currently running them with the Grand Note Shinai integrated amplifier and we're at volume 15 out of 33 i believe and it just sounds incredible the dynamics out of these are incredible it's just absolutely stunning dynamics um the high frequency is really interesting because like i said even being a horn design my initial impression is that they're not tilted in the high frequency at all they have a little bit of excitement, but compared to other horns, these are much for forgiving. Um you got my attention, baby. I came 
So when I play something like that, it just sounds very, very dynamic. I mean, it just sounds very, very um, robust. And I can definitely hear the mid-range, the guy singing the, the vocals. Um, it's, it's, it's something that you only get out, out of horns, that energy um, in, in the vocals. Even when you have like a male vocal, the, the, there's high fre frequency notes where, ex uh, for example, just in that track, where his, his voice kind of cracked, right? You know, um, kind, of, kind of lost it. He, he, he did that on purpose, obviously, but um, I'm trying to explain to you that, that part, you don't get that kind of energy um, on normal speakers. This is this is from like a horn speaker. Yeah, and there is certainly that energy when it comes to horn speakers and this certainly has it. I can hear that just now. Um, so this is kind of questioning me. Maybe it took time to break in. I have no clue. Um, now obviously these are from my friends, so maybe they're already broken in. I don't know. So let's play a few more tracks. Okay, again, um, that song was, that track specifically was very ambient. It had this ambience, um, and of course, we just tested the bass as well. I don't know if you guys can kind of get a sense of it through this microphone. Um, it is a Sennheiser 4, 416 microphone used in Hollywood production and stuff like that that I'm using right now as a boom pole microphone. But anyways, um, the bass on these are extremely, extremely robust and like I said it's overall very very sturdy very focused sound uh, within the sound stage and and so definitely there's this holographicness going on but within that sound stage placements and such such are not like typical horn speakers it's much more robust and the bass response is much robust and powerful and impactful and it's like a rock and roll speaker I'm playing these speakers quite loud of course I have the mixer down a little bit so I have to speak a little bit up uh, my voice but all in all, it just sounds incredible, and like my first impression, th this this is like a morning listening session with you guys, um, just proved it that these are fantastic speakers. Maybe I need to do a little bit of treble adjustment and stuff like that for my space because I have it pretty highly damped in here. But I mean, it just sounds really darn good, freaking fantastic. What can I say? Initial impression, um, not playing any crazy high res files or or audio file music like that. Um, just playing out of art, art list, which is a software for YouTubers, YouTube music, and they have pretty good music up there sometimes. And so I'm playing random music out of those. And you know, this is kind of like the thing I want to do with you guys, like kind of an initial impression kind of, uh, thing where I play a little bit of music, you know, give my feedback, um, in real time. So I can't bullshit out of my, uh, out of my ass. But again, it's initial impression, th in initial impression thing. So, you know, my opinions may change in my real review. Who knows? Uh, let's see how this pans out. It's sounding really good. Like I have other stuff in here that I have to review really, really soon. And I haven't hooked them up yet because I have these hooked up and they're heavy, heavy monsters. And besides I have them on a the freaking brick over here, um, that I have to move if I move these speakers and move a stand in this position so yeah um, so far so good so that was pretty much my impression of the JBL 4429 speakers is this the thumbnail um, anyways it, I love these speakers and I am going to review these um, my initial impressions are very very positive but I want to test them a little bit more with placement and um, and play some more music to find out the, the nitty and gritty, the sound stage and the imaging and all that good stuff um, coming up real soon in the review. So thank you for watching guys um, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.
see ya.